Hello there and welcome back. In this video we're going to be solving the following genetics problem. Now in Jimson weed, uh, purple flowers are dominant to white. So we can say that capital W will give you purple flowers and little w will give you white ones. This one here is dominant. The purple flower for the capital W is dominant. Now when a particular purple flowered uh, Jimson weed is self-fertilized, there are 28 purple flowers and 10 white flowers. So because we know that the, the uh, progeny or the offspring of this purple flower is both purple and white, uh, we know that this the purple flower that's being self-fertilized can't be homozygous, right? Or else they'd all be purple. But some of them are white, so that tells me that they're, it's heterozygous. Meaning the thing that we're crossing right now is capital W, little w. This is, this is going to give you a purple color. Then this being crossed with itself, so the same thing. This being crossed is, well, it's heterozygote crossed by hetero heterozygote. That is always a 3 to 1 ratio. This is a phenotype ratio, which means that we're going to get, uh, th I guess, 3 fourths being purple and 1 fourth being white. So then the question asks, what proportion, I guess I should write that down one moment. So 3 fourths are going to be purple and 1 fourth is going to be white. Now the question asks, what proportion of the purple flowered progeny will breed true? So if we did a Punnett square quick, so this is a pretty messy example, but uh, this one right here, that one is like homozygous recessive. So those are two little w's. Now in order to breed true, which means to breed uh, purple, so the, the question asks, what proportion of the purple flowers can only breed to produce more purple flowers? Which means, what is a, the what proportion is, is going to be homozygous dominant? The capital W is right here. We know that this situation right here, the little w, little w, is going to give you white flowers. So this one right there is white flowers, while these three up here are versions of purple flowers. Notice that they all have one, at least one, capital W. This one here has two, this one has one, and this one has one. So it's asking what proportion of them can breed true? Which, which of these can give you a homozygous dominant situation, like this one here? Well, that's going to give you one-third chance, because there's three possibilities for purple flowers. Only one of them can give you a situation where you would just breed more and more purple flowers. Notice that if you bred these two together, you would actually get white flowers. So the answer then is one third. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I do hope that you're having a fantastic day.